What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Eshi. Shamli. And we just moved to San Diego about a year ago. If you haven't seen our original apartment tour videos when we were looking at all of our options, I will leave the links right here because if you are also looking in San Diego, they may be useful for you. Today, I figured we'd look in a different area in San Diego that we didn't originally consider, and that is North Park. But before we get started, if you could do me a favor and hit that subscribe button if you are interested in more apartment tours, and hit that like button if this is helpful for you. We are starting off with Azul North Park, which is another Graystar property, which is similar to the Diego, which is where our apartment is now. And we may be looking down a lot because we're going to be watching the video with you guys. So Azul is in North Park. It's actually a block away from like the main street in North Park, where there are um, a bunch of breweries, there's Bars. restaurants. Exactly. It's more of a hipstery area if you're into that. They have a couple loungy areas. There's a business center where you can connect your laptop to the TV. There's a, a couple spots to just chill. The mail room is similar to any other apartment mail room. There's also parcel pending where you can enter a code to get your package. There's two floor parking here. So there is a bottom floor and a top floor with two different entrances for each. And here we're seeing the lounge, like the social area. So this area you can also rent. It is $50 an hour for up to four hours. If you're throwing like a party, you can have all of your friends come down here. It has a pool table. It has a lot of kitchen space. And I believe it had like a microwave. Um, I think it had like a beer tap. Um, yeah, it does. And it also opens up um, the window to the outside. So you can pass the drinks back and forth. Yeah, those black windows there slide. And in the outside area, there is a fire pit. There's more like lounging areas. It opens up to some of the apartment balconies that you can see here. It doesn't have a full sized pool. It only has a jacuzzi. So if you are looking for that full sized pool, this may not be the apartment building for you. There's a ping pong table here, an outdoor like TV area. And then there's a small like fake grass area that's not for pets, so it won't smell bad, but it's like for little activities that they host throughout. I thought the gym, um, though, like the outside area is on the smaller side, I would say. The lounge area was, was pretty good, but the gym is also on the smaller side, but it does have like all of the most updated equipment. So I think it, it does a pretty good job. It yeah. also has that studio area for like yoga or stretching or I don't know, dance. Yeah, they have the uh, this new mirror piece of equipment. Again, I don't hit the gym often enough to know how it operates, but I hear it's dope. I think it's one of those mirrors where you can get like a personal trainer to talk to you through the mirror or like to show the exercises through the mirror, that kind of fancy stuff. So this is a courtyard that's on the second floor. The second floor hallway just like opens up to the outside as you're walking to your unit. It's kind of crazy that it does that, but I guess the weather's so nice in San Diego, they can build buildings like that. Unlike in Michigan where we're from. <laughs> but this is the one bedroom and the finishes that you're seeing there, like the white countertop, white tile, beige cabinets, that's gonna be the same in every apartment in this building. The fridge is a normal size. They also have full size washer and dryer. And if you caught it on the wall, there is a nest in here, which is dope because our building doesn't have one even though they promised it did. I would say the kitchen is like a, a pretty good size. There's a lot of counter space, but the living room, which we'll show you in a bit, has less space than I kind of wanted. The bathroom is also pretty large again it's I feel very like spacious it is very spacious and it has like the tub shower combo but I feel like if they've taken a little bit of the space from the bathroom and put it in the living room that would have been nice totally agree if you're on the second floor you're gonna have that walkout balcony which we're not the biggest fans of interior facing apartments we would much rather have it like an exterior facing with a balcony that looking out to the ocean or the mountains or whatever it is, because if you're in San Diego, that's the kind of view that we would like. The ceilings, as you can tell, are kind of spacious here. Apparently the second floor has 15 foot ceilings, but that is only on the second floor. After that, it's standard, I think nine or 10 foot high ceilings that they have throughout. And the bedroom is spacious. It's like a standard size. It's pretty large, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I would say it's bigger than the living room area, or at least it feels that way. Maybe, I don't know about that. But the closet space is also pretty nice. There's like a walk-in section and then um, a regular closet on the other side. So you could do like a his and hers 
um, split if you'd like. I think there's enough space to do that. I'd probably get the bigger one. So a couple other things that we noticed when we were touring this place. So they do allow you to paint and drill holes and like do anything that you want inside the apartment. So that is always a plus. It is a Graystar property. So in our opinion, Graystar kind of brings the luxury into an apartment. So this is like a luxury high rise. Mm -hmm. That said, as a high rise, it's only up to seven stories. And I think there's a building cap in this area where it only allows up to seven stories. So um, moving to some place like San Diego with like, oh, and mountain views like my expectation is that I get to see all of that so it would kind of like fall out of where we would want to be. If you've watched any of our other apartment tour videos we always ask them if there's cement between the apartments and that's because of noise levels. If there is cement it usually means that the apartment's going to be pretty quiet. With this building they don't have cement. I mean that's not to say it's not a quiet building but it is something to think about. They do have uh, fiber internet at this building which is great. Um, I wouldn't let us consider a building without fiber having worked at a fiber company. The other thing is that the outdoor space, like I mentioned, is a little lacking. It's not um, a huge space, but it's it's perfectly adequate and the amenities are also like taken care of, really nicely done, so no complaints there. It's also a much smaller apartment building in general in terms of total number of units, so the space might kind of scale there as well in terms of are you more likely to run into people using that space at all? So overall, I'd say this definitely is a luxury apartment and the prices are very similar to the prices we see at our current building, the Diega. So the prices kind of match. I, I think it's really what kind of vibe you're going for. If you're more the person who likes going to bars and restaurants. Um, and breweries, you're all about the beer culture. Yeah, this is a perfect place for you. Um, but it, it, they are definitely lacking in like the club aesthetic that you have downtown, but of course, two very different neighborhoods. So I think that's one of the nice parts of San Diego is you have these mini kind of smaller town feels within the larger city itself. Which is why I wanted to make different videos for you guys focusing on different areas of San Diego because it is very diverse. If you're looking for that kind of like suburban more feel, North Park may be for you. Absolutely. Moving on to BLVD North Park or Boulevard. Boulevard. I would assume it's called Boulevard, I don't actually know. This is located right by the Boulevard sign in North Park, so like right downtown. So similar to Azul well, where you can walk to breweries and restaurants and bars all in uh, North Park. Yeah, speaking of, uh, so this is the gym that we're in right now. It's a pretty small gym comparatively to uh, I think any of the other buildings that we visited. Uh, it's it extremely also, small. Yeah, there's also not much equipment, but the tap room, which you can see right out of the gym, is a showpiece of this building. They offer free beers every Friday to residents, and then there's also like discounts that you could get. So if you're a beer person, this building is built for you. And in this social lounge area, it's a huge kitchen and seating area. They also have beer and like coffee on tap from that brewery. BLBD is cool in its architecture because when you walk up the steps to the social area, it's like an open air space. The pool is very, very small, like way smaller than I would like it. It, it does also have a hot tub, so that's nice, but I guess if you're not super into swimming and you just like to lay out, this is this is a pretty good space. So here the second floor opens up again to the outside, uh, similar to the Azul, but just a much larger space that's outdoor facing uh, in this building. They also have like smaller event areas like this, as you can see for cornhole or like other types of smaller games. Yeah, it was super pretty and like the elevator bays open up to its own little activity space. So this one was used as a workout space. And the architecture of the building is unique in that there's, I think he said like 40 different layouts for apartments and then it, they have their own little like social areas. Oh, oof. Uh, so this is the pet area. It uh, it started off kind of cool, but then it went downhill very quickly. There is, this is on the very top floor. I think there's seven floors in this building and um, it's an outdoor like pet bathroom area and there's like an outdoor wash as you can see on the left hand side um where you can take your dog and wash them your cat if you're adventurous which um, you would think it would be a great space and i think it is for a lot of people yes but um if you i have a sensitive nose and i don't think this is even like a sensitive nose thing I no think i don't is, have a sensitive nose thing and i know it's the exact same thing as him there uh after we passed it it just went right down the hallway we were hit with an overwhelming smell of just like heated pet urine, which uh, if you've smelt it before is just overwhelming. And it um, just took over the entire smell of that hallway. And to be fair, this was only on like the top level of the apartment. So we're not sure if this smell 
permeates underneath. But if you have an apartment that's facing the interior courtyard, I would think it would be a safe bet to say you're gonna smell it. And I just can't, I can't recommend living your life smelling this. No, smell. it's, way, it's way too strong, you guys. That was uh, genuinely the probably the worst smell we've ever smelled on an apartment tour. That's including the apartment in our first building that had raw, like garbage waste in, in the hallway. Do you remember that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one is below that. You can see I'm freaking out over the smell right here. I had to include that clip. <laughs> I didn't realize that's what I looked like from the other side, but I had to walk away because uh, I felt like throwing up. This was another one of those social gathering areas, and I was just showing you the view because, again, it does have a lot of perks. So this is a two-bedroom unit. Um, the tenants had just moved out of it, so that's why it'll look a little unclean. It's genuinely because they haven't had a time to flip it over yet. You'll see the light countertops and then the dark cabinets. That's going to be the same color palette for any apartment in this building. The refrigerator is like standard size. It does come with an electric stove. Yeah, unlike the Azul, and I, I prefer gas stoves personally. This one is um, interestingly a two and a half bath. So it has this powder room um, on the top floor. You'll see in a second, it's an interesting unit because the top floor is the living room and the kitchen. And then you have to walk down to get to the bedrooms. Also, I found that the upstairs bathroom just seemed larger <laughs> than the downstairs ones, which is an interesting design. You'll, you'll see that in a second. I think it was. And this does come with like a small balcony that's facing north so you can see you know the mountains again we prefer south or southeast facing window so you get more light i also thought it was really bizarre like i'm okay with a walk down to the bedrooms but the fact that i had carpet on the stairs it just made it feel dirtier to me it's a little odd there uh, also are two different styles of windows this is the interior facing um, unit that has like floor to ceiling windows and uh, i think what we would consider like the primary bedroom um, again, it has its own bathroom as well, uh, but as you can see, it's kind of small and a little bit cramped here. This hallway is actually very cramped. Eshi and I could not pass one another just like walking. Only one person can walk at a time between those two bedrooms. In general, I would say the downstairs area was just pretty cramped in general. It did have a full washer dryer, so that's great. But then this is the second bedroom. Again, it has its own bathroom Which and is closet. Nice. And, and shower, like that's brilliant. Yeah, it's all really nice. I feel like it, this, this building was kind of made for a roommate situation because each roommate can have their own things, their own closets, their own bathroom. So that's super nice. But if you notice, the second bedroom also has like much smaller windows than that first bedroom we saw. The other thing about this unit is you can paint, you can drill holes into the walls. So like standard things that you can do. It's also got this really cool outdoor like storage space. Uh, I think he said like most two bedrooms have it. Um, but it's like right beside your unit and you can lock it as well. And then there is the mail room, which I personally thought was a little shady. There's like a door to get in from the, like the outside sidewalk, or you can get in through the parking garage, but I would not feel safe in this small area, especially since it opens up to just like the regular sidewalk. I would not feel safe walking down and grabbing mail at 2 AM like I can in my current building because it's in the inside of our apartment building. This just felt unsafe. I felt like the lighting was off. It was just a little cramped. Something about it was not giving me good vibes. Yeah, that's very true. I felt the exact same way. With the parking garage, this was actually pretty unique. I think in any of the apartments we've ever toured in San Diego, you get free spots. So with a one bedroom, you get one spot. With a two bedroom, you get two free spots. So that's, that's pretty nice. Yeah, that's pretty wild. So overall, unfortunately, we cannot recommend this building. I mean, like they're just, I was really fighting for it to have a comeback, but there's no way we could get over that smell. Like it was that intense, unfortunately. There were like the inside courtyard was really pretty. If you like beer and you can't smell, fantastic building for you, honestly. Great uh, location. <laughs> exactly. So final thoughts on the Azul and the Boulevard. Uh, the Azul I thought was actually a very cool location, um, a very cool building. It's again, gray star, so we, it just feels very like homely to us because it's so similar. If you like going out, you like bars, you like restaurants, and you like like a smaller suburban town feel, the way I put it for my Michigan people is like, if you like a Ferndale or a Farmington Hills, a, a small city, um, that's what North Park will give you. I will say that with prices like Azul being so similar to prices of the Diego, which is our current apartment building, um, 
I would not pick it because of the similar pricing and the fact that at the Diego or a place downtown that's more of a luxury building, you are closer to the clubs, which we are more club people. You also have better views of the ocean and the mountains. A pro of North Park really is that it does have less homeless people, so it probably is a little bit safer than downtown if you're worried about that. It really does feel like you're living in a suburb, so it does have that kind of like homier feel if you're from the suburbs. And then with Boulevard, unfortunately, we just cannot recommend it with the smell. We've already gone through that. But um, North Park in general, if you guys have any other North Park apartments you want me to look into or any apartments or areas in San Diego in general, don't forget to leave it in a comment down below. I read all of my comments and respond to pretty much everything. So let me know what you want to see. Thank you so much for taking those apartment tours with us. I hope it helped you in finding your perfect San Diego apartment. If you like this video, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to see more similar videos in the future. I will see you guys pretty soon. See you guys, peace.